We have talked about dominant strategy equilibrium and we would now like to talk about perhaps the most famous equilibrium concept of all in economics, the Nash equilibrium. To do that, let's look at a particular game. We shall say the players are he and she and the payoffs are shown in the matrix shown here. So let's suppose that the two actions are watching an IPL match or watching a Bollywood movie. And let's suppose that this is a married couple. So these are the payoffs that are there. So what we can see is that he likes to watch IPL, but he also wants to be with her. So consequently, the payoff in the first cell is 3 and 2. So you might say that he gets 2 for being with her, then one more for watching what she likes to watch. And it's the other way around for her. She would like to watch a Bollywood movie, but she would also rather be with him watching television together. If on the other hand, they end up watching television separately in separate rooms, then the payoffs are 0, 0 each. So they might be able to get to watch programs that they like, but they do not receive any payoffs for that. So if they both watch an IPL match, the payoffs are 3 and 2. If they both watch a Bollywood movie, the payoffs are 2 and 3. So what would you think is likely to happen in this particular situation? Well, I suppose you would be fairly sure that the outcomes in the other diagonal will be avoided you will be fairly sure that situation where he watches an IPL match and she watches a Bollywood movie would be avoided and so would be the reverse that where he watches a Bollywood movie and she watches an IPL match. You can try and find out if there is a dominant strategy equilibrium for this game. Let's check. Suppose she were to watch an IPL match, what would he do? Well, he would watch an IPL match. And if she were to watch a Bollywood movie, then what would he do? Well, he would also watch a Bollywood movie. And if he wants to play an IPL match, then she would also watch an IPL match. So consequently, both of them watching the IPL match together turns out to be a Nash equilibrium. So the concept of Nash equilibrium seems to be quite simple. It says that a Nash equilibrium is a situation where both players are happy where they are. But you might say, in this case, playing a Bollywood movie by both players is also a Nash equilibrium. And we would have to agree to that. Yes, in this particular game, there are more than one Nash equilibrium. So consequently, even though a Nash equilibrium will always exist and will seem a reasonable outcome for a game, there might be situations where you might have more than one Nash equilibrium, which I don't think is actually that bad because there might be situations where they, you might say by looking at the particular interaction, modeling it, that I can't go beyond this. That all that I know is both of these people will be watching an IPL match together or they will both be watching a Bollywood movie together.